And there it is on the right of your screen. That is the Space Shuttle Atlantis now in visual range of the Kennedy Space Center. It's 54 minutes after the hour, two minutes to uh, landing. Back to our word of the day. It's wheels stop. It's a phrase from NASA. It's a phrase that will be uttered by the shuttle commander, Chris Ferguson, when the orbiter comes to a stop on the runway. It will be said once and it will be the last time it is heard. That's when the sh space shuttle lands. When these words come out of Chris Ferguson's mouth today, it will signal the official end of the space shuttle program. That's it for AM Wake Up Call. A special edition of American Morning starts right now. This is CNN Breaking News. Good morning. We are now uh, starting American Morning a few minutes early to witness history. This is breaking news. The space shuttle Atlantis is starting back to Earth. It's streaking back to Earth right now. You can see it in that shot. It's hard to see at some points, but it's pretty distinct when you can see it. It'll touch down at exactly 5.56 and 58 seconds. We'll get our first look at the shuttle uh, right now. You'll see it there. You can see it in the middle of the screen. So it's the 30th voyage. It's the final voyage for Atlantis. And when this shuttle rolls to a stop, so does the space program, a 30-year space shuttle program. Truly an amazing era in American history comes to an end. We're also going to hear that Commander Christopher Ferguson has prepared a special statement that he'll make from the orbiter once he calls the formal wheels stop. Uh, Let's go to John Zarella. He's standing by at the Kennedy Space Center. John? Hey, Ali, we've already heard those uh, twin, twin sonic booms that we had uh, talked about earlier. So we know that uh, Atlantis is uh, now on the uh, final leg home, and I'm joined by astronaut Kay Heyer, veteran of two space shuttle flights. And Kay, uh, really, you know, we keep using that word bittersweet, but it really is right now, right? There's been so many great things about the shuttle program, but this is it. Definitely mixed emotions today. We're very excited to bring the crew of the space shuttle Atlantis home. Uh, but facing the, uh, this being the last time, we're used to immediately preparing for the next mission. Uh, but now we have to look forward to other missions, but also to continue to support the International Space Station. You know, we were talking uh, about the fact, and we can see that's the heads-up display right there, right? Yes. That's what Commander Ferguson is, is seeing out, his, uh, out, out the window right now. He's looking at the heads-up. That is up. correct, yes. He's already can see the runway, and he's already lined up. He's lined up at the runway. We were talking, you know, tomorrow, 24 hours after the vehicle lands, another couple thousand people are going to be laid off. You worked here for six years in processing space shuttles. Uh, oh, look, there it is. There's the shuttle. As we're seeing him, he's lined up on the runway, getting ready to come in. It's going to be tough for a lot of people. Oh, definitely. But uh, right now, we're just really celebrating everything that we've accomplished with the space shuttle program. Yep, let's listen to NASA. Here comes Chris Ferguson now with the shuttle. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empower this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. Hey, thanks, Butch. Uh, great words, great words. You know, the space shuttle's changed the way we uh, view the world and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. There's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Inspiring comments, Atlantis. 
We'll meet you on 5 3. Hey there, bud. of uh, an era, really, wow. uh, the 135th flight of the space shuttle program. And you could hear it in the voice of the uh, commentator yeah. from NASA Five, out of eight. Houston, Mission Control, uh, just talking about inspiring a generation, serving the world for 30 years, uh, job well done, America. It really is, it's, it's a sad time. It's, it's sad, hopeful, but sad. Hopeful, but sad. And there are a lot of people watching this knowing that it has brought their careers to an end, but it has been a magical sort of time in space. It's not just the U.S. It's been a cooperative effort with, uh, with many countries at a time when there's been a great deal of turmoil oil in the world. The space shuttle has been something that has brought the uh, efforts of a number of nations together. John Zarella standing by at uh, Kennedy Space Center. John, I got to tell you, you've covered a lot of these things. Uh, what did it feel like watching that come in for the last time? Yeah, you know, I was listening to Rob Navius, the voice in, in Houston, and he got choked up there at the end, and he had some really great words to say, and, and uh, you know, just watching it, I, I, I say to myself, well, that's it. But we've always said, Kay, there'll always be another launch to come and cover, there'll always be another landing to come and cover, not anymore. Well, at least not anymore space shuttles, but I would say stay tuned. It's going to take us a little while, we're still working on it, but keep watching, we'll be launching again. We're going to stay in the business, as, I, as they said, the United States is not out of the space business. Absolutely. Uh, we've proven for 30 years that, that we know how to get to low Earth orbit. We built this fantastic International Space Station, and it's going to keep operating at least through 2020, conducting research in this incredible laboratory with the microgravity environment of space that we cannot replicate here on Earth. So we're going to still explore and research there. But we've proven that we know how to get to low Earth orbit. Now so the next step is we to, need go to go beyond on. low Earth orbit. Absolutely. And that's going to be the challenge for you and the rest of the folks uh, folks at NASA. So, uh, uh, Allie, Kieran, uh, as we see Atlanta sitting there on the uh, the edge of the runway, uh, it, is, uh, it is, in fact, over for the space shuttle program. That's, that's right. right. Thank you for that. Uh, we want to get the take of what it's like in Houston at Mission Control, where it's obviously a, a very bittersweet day for them as well. Ed Lavendera is standing by. Hi, Ed. As we know, uh, what, about 2,000 shuttle workers getting their pink slips perhaps as early as tomorrow? Well, that is, you know, the, the, the transition, as a lot of people here talk about it. Uh, uh, but this is a, a spectacular moment here in, in Mission Control. A lot of the men and women who have been working on this mission uh, standing up, a lot of handshakes. Um, and, and as the shuttle landed just off to the right here, you guys can't see it, but there's a viewing room. Uh, and it's basically filled this morning with a lot of the families of the, of the men and women you see down in here. And as the shuttle touched down just a little while ago, you could hear the, the, the eruption of, of applause. There's also several hundred people uh, outside the Mission Control Building here watching this on the, on the grounds. Uh, their viewing area had been set up for a lot of the Johnson Space Center employees. A lot of these uh, men down here you see holding little cameras, little uh, uh, iPhones, what, what have you, kind of capturing the, these final moments of, of the space shuttle for, for these people who have worked so closely, mostly behind the scenes. You know, the astronauts get a lot, a lot of the glory, but it's uh, these folks down here who work on these shuttle missions tirelessly around the clock, especially when the, the, they're in orbit around the world. A lot of these people, you know, take great, great pride in the, in the work that they've done over the last 30 years. So emotional moments for here. Uh, when uh, we'll zoom in here, the, the gentleman you see in the uh, in the red shirt over there, uh, his name is uh, Butch Wilmore. He's the uh, spacecraft uh, communicator. He was the one that you heard speaking with the commander of the space shuttle, going back and forth just a short while ago, um, just to kind of give you a sense of of who's who here. Uh, but this room here, you know, kind of going through the final checklist here uh, now that uh, the space shuttle is on the ground safely. And the other thing that is interesting, you can't see it, but there's a, in the one of the they have three large monitors here in Mission Control. And in the middle monitor, uh, right there in the room, they have, uh, for each shuttle mission, there's a, a patch that is designed for each of these crews. And we've seen it flashing, all of the different space shuttle mission patches uh, flashing across the screen. Uh, you know, many of these people are veterans of many space shuttle missions. So, uh, you know, kind of a, a tribute to all of, the, all of the space shuttle missions that have been controlled out of here in Mission Control in Houston. Allie and Kieran, back to you guys. All right, Ed, thanks very much for that. 
And we want to welcome you again to a special edition of American Morning where we're covering the landing of the final space shuttle. It is 6.04 here on the East Coast, 5.04 at Mission Control in Houston, where they're really saluting the end of an era and the astronauts who made it a success. If you just joined us, the final voyage of the space shuttle program is now over. Atlantis flawlessly touched down on time at Kennedy Space Center just minutes ago. Here's the historic moment. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. And we'll take this All right, opportunity so that is to congratulate an, you. An end of an era. The congratulations the taking place. And, you know, with the end of the shuttle program, this is a, a really actually controversial topic for a lot of people who sure. cover it because now we're reliant on our former Cold War rivals, uh, Russia, who have obviously been partners in our space exploration. To get, to get astronauts to, get there. to the uh, space shuttle and up is, and down. Uh, is it $64 million per astronaut for yeah. us to get uh, to hitch a ride up to space until um, we develop something else or decide what we're doing? And there's a commercial private, space program right. in development, but it'll still be a couple of years before they can. And they say it'll be a lot more economical than, than doing it on the space shuttle, but it is a couple years away. Uh, yeah, bittersweet time. I, I do have some people saying, why are we saying it's the, the end of the space program? It's the end of the shuttle program, to be sure. Yeah, and we don't have certainty as to what the space program uh, is going to do after this. All right, we'll, uh, we'll come back to this a little bit later in the show this morning.